Hey, hey, what is up, Led Zepp Tube? We are back with the final song from the debut album by Led Zepp. It is How Many More Times? Now, I have done a version of this on the channel. It was a video that actually got unblocked. It was a live at Denmark Radio 1969. I don't know if that was uh, done before the album came out or after. Let me know in the comments, you guys know a heck of a lot more about Led Zepp than I do. I have absolutely adored going through this album. I've said it many a time, the Led Zeppelin supporters are, are basically what really kicked this channel off. You guys jumped in early when I started on the reaction and said, hey, we want some Bonham. We need to hear some Bonham. I delivered it to you and you guys supported me. So thank you so much. Special shout out to Suzanne Lash and Finesse Muse for the continued support and encouragement and patience while I get this side to Led Zepp week sorted. Guys, let's get into it. How many more times I am going to be following along with the Drumeo transcription. And I do need to keep repeating this that Drumeo, you guys can access all this for 30 days completely free. That is quite a long time. You can do a whole course in that time. You got access to 6,000 plus drum transcriptions. You're going to be seeing some of the features today on the reaction. You can loop sections, go for drumless parts. If you want to become the drummer, you can slow the song down and the transcription tracks along with the audio. It's absolutely amazing. On top of that, you get access to the world's best drummers and drum educators. Go and check it out on me. What else? Subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment. Let's get into it. Swing! We've got jazz. This is just pure jazz. Hey, now. That's a kind of blue. Miles Davis kind of blue. Jimmy Cobb. Da, 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 ba, ba. Am I right or am I right? You guys know kind of blue, right? Come on. We're just going into a new section here. Shout out to John Paul Jones and Jimmy Page for that relentless groove. It sounds like there's a bit of fuzz perhaps on the guitar and Bonham is just shredding it up, grooving and just piling in the fills. It keeps things percolating and just grooving along. Absolutely killer. <laughs>
Miles Davis-ish, actually. So it's 1969, you picked up your album. It's the band everybody's talking about. They're blowing everybody's mind. And you go through that album and you get to the last song and you think, this is the greatest album I've ever heard in my life. Your mind's been completely blown. And then you hear that. That. Eight and a half minutes of pure inspiration 
creation, improv. You can't play that, although it's a basically a through composed piece full of improv, full of improv. Everybody's shining in that. I mean, it's a it is probably of the whole album. I think it would be the biggest birth that was given to Bonham. Like, hey, you go to town, man. You go nuts. There's some really difficult drum parts on other songs, like uh, "Good Times, Bad Times" is actually a it's a bit of a doozy. Um, Dazed and confused, but um, that one is actually. We're giving him solo space here. We've got a sensational drummer. Let's give him some space to actually do his thing. And it's just so artfully done. That's a really arty song. And it is so, so jazz. It actually starts with the classic jazz ride pattern. Spang lang. And then it breaks away from that. It gets into the groove and... You know, you don't have to be playing Spang-A-Lang on a ride cymbal for it to be jazz. Jazz is probably more defined by improvisation. And that's where this really, the second layer of, you know, an homage, I don't know what you would call this. Well, jazz motivated, inspired song on the album. It's actually when they start getting into this extended improv and solo section and ensemble hits with the drum solo and vamping. That's the real jazz stuff, and it's a real discovery. I feel like they they would have had a roadmap for how the song goes. Be interesting to see other live versions of this as well. I mean, I did do that Radio Denmark one, but it's a long time ago now. And see how much improv was going on. How similar was the structure of the song from night to night? I mean, was it simply just a a head knob when it's time to go into the next section. I mean, how long were they extending this? I know Moby Dick would change dramatically. Obviously, that's not going to be the same drum solo every night. Same ideas, same motifs uh, a lot of the time, but how it's structured, very different. And that's true improv. Oh man, I have really, really enjoyed going through this whole album. I know it's taken a while to get back to and finish off, do side two here, but yeah, let me know what you guys have thought of this whole album breakdown. If you've enjoyed it, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button and leaving a comment. I look forward to all the Led Zepp fans out there contributing and getting stuck in and letting me know all kinds of fun facts about this album because yeah, it's it's iconic, it's historic, it's a piece of musical history. I'm glad to finally get to it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Take care. Ciao.